going on? This is Gilbert P with the SailorGuru.com and today we're going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S2 phone. Now this phone is the new hotness from Samsung. It's a follow up to the crazy hype Galaxy S phones from last year. Those phones actually came out under a bunch of different names. You know, the Vibrant, the Captivate, the Fascinate. But this one right here is just the Galaxy S2. I think they're done with the naming on these phones. So if we quickly take a look at the hardware right here, you can see that this phone now, they've upgraded to a 4.3 inch screen. It's super thin. If you we'll put this right here, you can see how this phone is really thin. Watch, hold on. Let's put it side by side. Right to this, to this pencil here. I think it's actually just, see it's actually thinner it's thinner than the pencil, which is amazing. Looking further at the hardware, you can see that it has an 8 megapixel camera um, and with a flash, finally, right? This is something I was missing from the Galaxy S phones from the previous generation, but it's here today. This time around, they actually added at the top of the phone um, a second microphone so that um, it helps to you know, get rid of noise when you're on a phone call. They didn't do that on the previous generation of Samsung Galaxy S phones. You can see here you have the speaker um, and this is right here is that is actually the battery cover you could just have to pry it open. To... There we go right and it's actually really flexible the back um, and it feels very different than what the Galaxy S phones were like. In front of the phone you actually have a front-facing camera this time around not all of the Galaxy S phones the previous generation actually had that. The top 3.5 millimeter jack. Bottom, you have your micro USB connection and also your microphone for when you're talking. Power button on the on the right side of the phone, volume rockers on the left side. The button right here, that's actually the home button and it's a real button. It's not just a capacitive button that you have on either side of the phone. Going in, right? You have the lock screen right here. As you can see, the phone uses a very clean lock screen. Um, there's not you know, too much stuff. What you have is you know, your background and also the time. Going in, you can see that the phone actually has a different background when you're on the home screen than the lock screen. The widgets that Samsung included are very intuitive. They make sense. And you know what, they're, they're, they really add to the experience. So you can hear, you see here, there's a digital clock. A lot of people like to see that on their Android phones. Um, and then here you have the weather, and I think it's a really nice looking uh, weather widget. You can see that, you know, it's 26 degrees in Toronto right now, it's a great day. I should be outside, and instead I'm stuck here making a video. You can see here that there's a, a note taking app, which is pretty cool, right? So, you know, I pulled it up just now. So I'll say something like, um, remember, to buy milk, right? Click save and boom, it's on the home screen, right? So very quick and easy way to take notes, set reminders, and uh, it just works. Um, right next to that, I have a small little agenda widget. And basically this widget it, it is great because um, it, it shows you, you know, your next calendar event if it's uh, within a certain amount of time. And there's actually different widgets too. So you can have this little one here that you know, complements a screen with other widgets on it. You can have also a full page, you know, like you know, you know what I mean by page, a full screen with just the agenda widgets and you can see different dates. Here you have a picture gallery and you can see that's my lovely daughter here. And it just goes through different pictures that are in your album and actually you, you actually uh, select the pictures that will actually go through. So if you got some pictures that you want people to see, you know, like if you're making a video right now, you can make sure to select just the pictures you want people to see so that you don't run into that kind of trouble. Next to that is the active applications widget. So it tells you basically how many applications are active right now. As you can see right now, there's two applications active. And if I want, I can, whoops, if I want, I can just tap it and I can see what the applications are. So we have internet application running and then we have an email application running in the background. So if I want, I can exit all the applications by hitting exit all and they're gone. 
There you go. Just save some RAM and possibly some battery. Right here we have an AP mobile widget, which basically um, shows you news and, um, around the world. Um, here you have a power widget, so you can you know see you can turn on your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, brightness settings. Also, if you scroll down, if you pull your app drawer down, you can see that you have also some quick options here: Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, the sound, and also auto rotation, right? and also your notifications. So at the bottom of the screen you see there's a widget with some voice options there. There's voice commands, voice talk, and driving mode. If we go into voice talk, you can see that um, it's a screen with options and it basically tells you what you can do. You can call someone, you can message someone, you can do navigation, music, memo, and driving mode. So you can either tap these or you can just speak to it if you don't want to take your eyes off the road. You can just say, hey Galaxy, what would you like to do? map to McDonald's. Sorry, please try again. Navigation to McDonald's. Navigation to McDonald's. Navigate to McDonald's. Alright, let's quickly select the one that we need. And there you are. Now we're heading down to McDonald's to get some greasy burgers and clog up our arteries. Fun times! Now the last widget that I want to showcase here is the email widget. And uh, this is actually not attached to the Gmail app, but actually to the email app which, is, um, which comes included in the phone. If you can live without you know, the kind of the push that the, that the Gmail app does, this one actually works really well. So you can see it shows you your three last emails, and if you select one, right, you can go into it and read that email. The cool thing though about this email application is that you can interact with the emails in a different way that's not really possible in the Gmail app. So in the Gmail app, for example, you can't zoom in and out to better see your emails, right? So here we, we, we can see the email here, and we can actually pinch to zoom and interact with it. If you turn your phone sideways, what you get is a, a view that's very much like, like a tablet. So you can see that all your emails actually went to the left side of the phone and if you tap one, then you can actually see the email on the right side. right? And you can still do all the gestures and stuff and you can see everything that's going on. But now let's look at the actual app drawer. So the app drawer this time around is still very similar at a glance. So what you can see is that now you can see the background of your phone. So it's not black like it was on the older Galaxy S phones. Um, you still have uh, the, the page by page for the icon. So it's not a single app drawer that you flick up and down. And what they've added this time is a lot of customizations to make it easier to use. So you can see at the top I have folders. Right, so I have a games folder. I can go in and here are all my games. Um, the, the only thing I don't, I don't like about this implementation is that they're stuck in the order that I put the games in. I would love it if I had the option to just arrange them in alphabetical order, but so far I haven't found a way to do that and I don't think it can be done. But you can set up different folders for all your applications. When you want to customize the drawer, like this screen right here, you can customize it you just hit the option here, you hit edit, and here you, you can see that you can uh, move the applications in any order that you want. Um, you can replace the applications in the dock right here. And you can also uninstall apps just by hitting the minus key on an application. And then you'll get a, a screen asking you to confirm. See, this application will be deleted. I'm not going to do that. But it'll actually delete the application from your phone. Uh, you can add pages to the app drawer so that if you if you just need more pages for more apps or um, it, as you install apps if you reach the limit 
um, for the pages that you have, it'll just automatically add the page for you. And here you can see that you can add the folders. One thing you have to remember is when you're done, you need to click the save button here or else all the changes that you made will actually not be made. So remember that. When you go to settings, there's an option called motion. So when you go into motion, you can see that there's the different um, options there. So you can turn over the phone. So if you have a call that's coming in, you can take your phone, right? Take your phone, turn it upside down, and it's going to mute the, the incoming calls. You can put two fingers on the phone, tilt the phone while you're looking at a picture in the gallery, and it'll zoom in and out. You can also pan the phone. So like, let's, so in the screen where you're looking at icons, you can pan the phone and it'll turn the pages for you so that you don't have to you know, wait and hold on the side to turn the pages. If you double tap the, the home button here, it'll actually bring you to voice commands. So if I just go like this, what would you like to do? navigate to McDonald's. This was our look at the Samsung Galaxy S2. Again, this thing is lag free, it's quick, has a great camera, and it has that super AMOLED plus. This screen is just amazing. Um, I think it's by far the best feature on this phone. I've, com I've had the opportunity to compare this phone to other phones out there, you know, with QHD uh, resolution. And yeah, this phone doesn't have the QHD resolution, but that's okay. You know why? Because the Super AMOLED Plus is there. The colors are vibrant. It's like if you're reading you know, an article, it looks like you're reading off a piece of paper. On top of that, it's fun. You enjoy taking pictures with this. You enjoy looking at pictures. And honestly, it, that, all of that adds up to an experience that just spells awesome. So this is Gil Repeat. This is the Samsung Galaxy S2. What I want you to do is go to thesailorguru.com right now for the best news and reviews on anything to do with mobile. All right? So I'm going to check you guys later, and I'm heading out to McDonald's to get myself a big...